All right guys, so our goal for right now is to fit all four of these tires right here as well as all four of those wheels into the WRX. We're in, got all four tires and wheels in the WRX. Honestly, it wasn't that bad. Just parked over at Hernandez Tires, the go-to for any tire mounting on my wheels down in San Diego, California. Yeah, we're gonna go get the new tires mounted up to the new wheels for the 2022 BRZ. We threw on air suspension for the BRZ, so we're already making huge progress on the new car. Got it bagged already. Now, next step, a lot of you guys are telling me in the comment section is to get some wheels. So that's exactly what we got going on here. All right guys, we're done from the tire shop. We're over at Chick-fil-A right now. This is like the go-to before or after I work on the car. I've been stuck on Chick-fil-A, not gonna lie. <laughs> My go-to here is a spicy chicken sandwich. Ditch the fries, I get the mac and cheese instead. Recently, I've been on the sweet tea slash lemonade mix. My girlfriend got me into that. That's my go-to over at Chick-fil-A. But anyways, we got the new wheels back here in the WRX and they look so good. As you guys saw, we went with the raised gram lights. 57 CRs in a gloss black. For the tires, we're running some Lionhearts uh, 215 40 18. So it's a good amount of stretch. It's not too much stretch, but should be good enough because I really want to clear that little rear, um, whatever you want to call it on the BRZ. I don't know, whatever that fender thing is on the rear. I heard you rev a lot on that thing with a big tire, so we're running a little bit of stretch. Regardless, I wanted to run a little bit of stretch to get kind of like a stance look going on. Um, but yeah, we wanted the gloss black raised gram lights. I really really wanted to get a gloss mag blue going on But they didn't have any of those in stock. Uh, they only had the mag blue It's like the matte satin finish mag blue So it wasn't the gloss like the super rich dark mag blue So we went with the gloss black But if I don't end up liking the gloss black I might end up getting them powder coated a different color or mag blue But for now we're gonna run the gloss black see how it looks get a little feel for it and uh, if I don't end up liking it, then we can go ahead and powder coat them a different color. At 2.30, we are actually selling the WRX. So someone's gonna come and pick it up at 2.30. So I actually have to get this thing a little bit ready, but that's all gonna be in a separate video. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go and throw the wheels on later on the BRZ and then probably get this thing aligned so I can show you guys. I forgot to mention the honey mustard. <laughs> Honey mustard sauce is a must. Honestly, I feel like their sandwiches are getting just more spicier and spicier. That or I'm just being weak about it. Just gotta put a little bit on it, or actually a lot. Mm. So good. The mac and cheese. If I could live off of one thing for the rest of my life, it would be mac and cheese. Like, I love mac and cheese so much. It's like my number one snack. Wheels are on. Look who came through. Perfect timing. What do you guys think? Definitely needs a lot of work, but the wheels are finally on. Oh, thank you for what? The backs and the fronts too. <laughs> you know what? You, you know what it is? It's this. I really? think this, this was gonna throw off your fitment. I need to add like a. You want it to be fender to lip to this? Or no, to this. Okay, okay. The fronts are too wide. Like I the told you, plus 38 is different, huh? No, with this, this is a 20 millimeter spacer. No, 25. Really? I just need to do like a 15 millimeter spacer. It's like so, so you think, close. You think it'll go down? No, shave the wheel, the tire. Oh my, you're crazy. Bro, the bro, backs bro. are no spacer. 
but this is aired out so i feel like i need to camber it more to make it go lower just like a little bit more because like this is fully aired out and if i add some camber then it'll go lower maybe like a five mil or a 10 mil spacer something like that still needs a lot of work though but it looks sick so far damn this is freaking close <laughs> the fronts are crazy all right, so as you guys saw yesterday, we threw the new wheels onto the new BRZ. Didn't really film much after we threw the wheels on the car because I actually had to do a lot of adjusting and uh, pretty much hammering of the strut tower even more. So the first issue we ran into is the wheel actually hits the bag without a spacer. So right now, we actually put on a 25 millimeter spacer. Honestly, the wheel is like, it barely clears the bag. Like I can probably go to a 20 millimeter spacer, but it'll be just super close to the bag. So I feel like a 25 millimeter uh, would be the lowest um, size spacer that would make me feel comfortable to run. With that being said, the 25 millimeter made it poke out quite a bit, so we actually had to adjust the camber plates uh, to give it more negative camber. And when we do more negative camber, it gets closer to the strut tower. So we had to take the back off once again and hammer the strut tower to make more clearance. And I think it clears like by a little bit. Like I feel like it's really, really close right now. But yesterday when I was driving it, it just felt so like risky and scary. Uh, so I really want to take it off again and hammer for more clearance on the strut tower because I really do not want to pop the bag on this car. So yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing right now. I'm going to hammer for more clearance. But other than that, it's really looking good on the front. I really like the fitment. So yeah, without further ado, let's go and start working on adjusting this car. Alright guys, I think this is good. Went in and hammered more. Actually throwing some white paint right here so it doesn't rust because there's a lot of exposed metal. Fronts are done on the BRZ, made a ton of clearance. Literally maxed out the top hats for the airlift struts. Even being maxed out, we still got a ton of clearance behind the bag. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we're officially good to go with the fronts now. Fitment should be good on the front. I'm really excited to see it. There she is, fully aired out with the new wheels on the 2022 BRZ. As you guys saw, we got a fresh alignment on the car and we threw the wheels and tires onto the BRZ. So far, so good. Um, I actually have to do a little bit of adjusting in the rears. So in the back, I'm actually running a 20 millimeter spacer. Um, it's a little bit too big, honestly. As you can see, the fender right here is literally sitting on the tire. So it's not allowing me to go or air out lower. It's actually hitting as well on the plastic, whatever you want to call these things. Uh, so I heard people trim these down or just shave like the inside. So I'm definitely gonna throw like a 15 millimeter spacer. I'm gonna go ahead and try that out. It's five millimeters smaller than the one on here. Once I throw that on, this should have more clearance to go down um, and it should be 
probably close to Fender to Lip, honestly. Kind of weird, because this side I feel like goes lower. Uh, I don't know. Kind of weird, but I'm going to go ahead and throw my alignment sheet on the screen right here. So I'm actually running negative six and a half camber in the rear. And on the front, I believe it's like negative 4.8 or 4.9. So around negative five on the front. So we are running quite a bit of camber. Honestly, didn't really plan to when I got this car, but with the bag clearance issues on the front, kind of had to run a bigger spacer. And in doing so, we had to camber the wheel in to tuck in the fender. I've always loved stance, so honestly, I don't mind it whatsoever. Uh, like I said, we just got to tweak the rears a little bit. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below of the new 57 CRs. I'm usually not a fan of black wheels, but I definitely had to switch it up a little bit from the white wheels that we've always ran on the cars. You can't really see the design of the wheel in certain lightings, especially at night. That's like the only thing I'm not really a fan of, to be honest. Uh, but other than that, I think it looks really aggressive. And if anything, later on, we can always powder coat the wheels a different color. Maybe like a mag blue or something. That'd be pretty sick. But yeah, I do have some stickers on the way. Uh, some white stickers. I feel like that'd be a sick contrast and it'll match with the paint if we threw like some type of white decal on the raised wheels. Uh, so that's actually on the way. But yeah, guys, here's the new wheels. I guess you can say we kind of stanced out the 2022 BRZ as well. Even though the rears are not quite how I want them yet, uh, it still looks super aggressive and it looks so sick. I don't think I showed you guys the front fitment yet. Almost to fender lip, so close. There's a little view from the back. The back, you can really see all the camber. <laughs> that is so cool. Completely changed the car. Lowering it with the new wheels definitely made it look much better. But yeah, guys, let me know down in the comment section below what do you guys think of the new wheels on the car and uh, pretty much how the BRZ looks so far. Sometimes I like throwing these at the end of the video just to kind of motivate you guys or inspire you guys potentially. This right here, you learn basketball by playing basketball. You learn math by doing math. You learn business by starting a business. You learn investing by actually investing. Stop looking for the perfect moment. Just start and I promise you'll figure it out along the way. So guys, experience is the best teacher. Don't wait around looking for some secret answer or some perfect moment to start whatever it is that you guys have been wanting to do i'm guilty of it when i started Borgia supply the clothing brand felt like i needed to have everything figured out before i dropped my first merch drop but that was just like so unrealistic i didn't learn everything that i needed to learn until i just dropped my first merch drop and literally just learned as I went. So there's no perfect moment, guys. Whatever it is that you guys have been wanting to start, stop wasting time. Just start it, because experience is your best teacher. But yeah, that's my little daily advice for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We got a lot of things coming for this car. Uh, we got some headers, new exhaust, and um, I'm just tired of this thing being super quiet. So that's coming very soon. I wish you all a happy holidays. Merry Christmas and uh, just cherish these moments guys with your family. You know, don't take these moments for granted with your family uh, or whoever you spend it with these holidays. Life can throw you a curveball at any given moment. So just cherish all these moments guys. Once again, happy holidays, Merry Christmas and uh, I will catch you all later. Peace.